Okay, there we go. Welcome back, everybody. This is part two of sketching peacock studies of peacock. And uh, so you can see in part one, and I pulled out all my pencils during the break that I'm going to use. So I just use some acrylic craft paint to like lay down some color along the scroll here. Got a single feather, kind of a little bit of a Oh, three-quarter view here. This is a detail of this. This is a detail of that. We're going to do an eye. This is a straight-on shot of how his face looks. So I'm, I'm going to probably work about an hour, and that's probably not going to finish all this up. So if you want to see the completed pictures, look, I'll, I'll try to remember to put a link to my Instagram and Twitter, which is Inkywell, I-N-K-I. W-E-L-L, -L. so if you want to see the finished, completed, close-up sections of this, I'll finish it after the show because I'm only going to have about another hour here and uh, to work on it. So I probably will not finish every little detail, but we're going to do our best to get as much, you know, uh, done in here as possible. So anyway, so thanks everybody for being here. We've got quite a few people. I won't go through the list and say hi again to everybody, but thanks everybody for being here because this is part two. And this is the art scroll and I showed it earlier. So you're going to see, you know, like there's the head of that ocelot there. I did a, um, I did a tree frog. Let me move some more paints. Did a little tree frog over the weekend. And again, these are, it's just a big scroll, it's just a big roll that I turn into a scroll of different uh, animal sketches and animal studies of different parts and different uh, animals. And, and all these should be pretty much all of them, I think, are on Instagram and Twitter. So I'm just kind of roll it up so you can kind of see this one sideways. There's my slow lorry sketches there so anyway it, uh, i'll say again that this roll of craft paper is only like about three to four dollars it's just the 3m shipping paper just plain old shipping wrapping paper and it's 30 inches wide i do have my camera kind of zoomed in so you can kind of see everything uh, that i'm working on fairly closely but um it's only three or four dollars just to get you a roll of this craft paper craft colored wrapping paper shipping paper to play on so that's what we're doing here okay so i'll just kind of be going back and forth kind of shifting the scroll back and forth to whatever area i'm working on because i did zoom the camera in just a little bit so hopefully you can see a little bit more detail all right, so I'm going to go ahead and start a little bit right here on this guy. And again, I know people always ask me the colors I'm using on color pencils. I get that, uh, uh, you know, uh, question a lot. Um, if I can read it, if it's not covered up, I'll tell you the color. If I haven't sharpened it down to a nub, I'll tell you these colors. They're Prisma colors, uh, black and white, okay, uh, yellow ochre ginger root a couple of grays here this is a warm gray 50 percent this is a cool gray 20 percent this is a lime peel green a apple green this is it's a, it's a citron color i it's sharpened off uh, then for some blue greens, I got light aqua, true blue, electric blue, violet blue, and then this is kind of a French, it's, a, it's French gray 70%, it's kind of a brown gray and a burnt ochre. Now I may need other colors and I already know I'm going to need a dark brown. And so I keep my pencils in bundles by color, uh, family, like my pinks, my reds, browns, greens, grays. I try to keep them kind of bundled by color family 
but then I have this tray here that I use all the time. These are the colors I use a lot. So they're in this big tray. And uh, But I, I want to bring this over to find a dark brown. And because uh, I'm going to work on his eye, and I can tell I'm going to need a dark brown. So that's dark brown. Okay. So I'm going to that out of the way. So I just keep them handy like that. So if you all have any questions, put them in caps. Okay. So I'm going to just go ahead, let me get black and start kind of give an outline of his eye here. Kind of form his eye. Again, uh, hopefully I'm zoomed in. If anybody needs me zoomed in more, let me know. Um, I'm try I'm going to be kind of all over this uh, scroll. So I'm going to try to, you know, be close up, but also have enough overall view of the whole thing. So hopefully you'll be able to see some. So on part one, we just base coated in with the plain old acrylic craft paint, the colors that you see here. They're just plain old Americana craft paint, which that's my favorite paint to use. So I'm just using the different shades of brown here to try to kind of get his pupil blocked in. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on each element. These aren't supposed to be portrait it's not supposed to be a portrait of all these peacocks. They're, they're studies, they're sketches, and I, I'm trying to keep it that way, although it's real hard for me not to, you know, keep going and going and going on detail, but I'm going to try not to. Um, so I'm just going to kind of block in his eye here. Then to add a uh, kind of a watery highlight lighted eye, I'll, I'll use a little bit of a, a watered down paint and white pencil. So let's go ahead and get in. And again, the reason that the white will show up really well here is because it's underpainted with acrylic. If you just do this with just pencil, you're not going to get that exact vibrancy You'll have to go in there probably with a little bit of uh, acrylic paint, but I think you can kind of start to see him come to life. There's something under there. There's a little bump of something there. So, anyway. If you don't have any questions, just put them in caps. Feel free to ask if I, you know, and again, I don't consider myself a teacher. This is just how I do my art. And uh, I do mostly portraits, people, and pets. So if you need any pet portraits or people portraits, you know, I do commissions for those. Um, this kind of stuff, I just try to, you know, be a uh, inspiration to people to at least give things a try. You know, give it a try. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of darken up some of the... Get more detail in there. So again, this looks really rough when you just base coat it in with a, a acrylic paint. But it's the it, this is where the detail comes in. For me, this is where the detail comes in is with the color pencils. And I and I usually do, you know have just a certain amount of time here on Ustream to get just you know so much done. And uh, so we're going to kind of be back and forth over the different parts of the bird to kind of bring him to life a little bit. And I might go back in here with more paint to get some of those little uh, iridescent kind of type of uh, glow that come along. Once I have kind of a more dark to put on top, put something on top. Oh, 
small things. I tr I try, guys. I do try to you know encourage you know, people to try these things. Um, but you know, and I don't, and I also don't make any bones about that things take practice. You know, I've been doing art for a better part of fifty years, and so uh, you know. It, it, it doesn't just come. I mean, I, I I've talked I've talked before about how I think people have, you know, if you want to call it gifts, talent, or whatever. I think everybody's born with a love of something creative. They love to do. There's something that they love to do, but you have to develop the skills, the practice. You have to put in the time um, to get better at things. It just doesn't, I mean, I'm sure there's a few people in the world like, you know, a Leonardo da Vinci or something that could just pick up a pencil and was a genius from the start. But the rest of us, we all had to practice, learn skills, and um, work at it. This right here is where hit those uh, little white feathers are going to come at, would come out. I don't have room for him here. We're going to do those on him right there. So, but this is the part of the head right there where these feathers would come out. There's a close up of one of those plume feathers. Hey, wee hootie. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, I, I just say that to say, I, you know, I, I hope everybody will give it a shot, but. You know, if you're picking up a pencil for the first time and you find some artist that you really like and you think, oh, I want to be able to do that or try that or, you know, you just, you're not going to be able to do, uh, you know, any major accomplishment the first time you pick up a pencil. You, you have to practice at it. So I just always like to say that so that people don't get discouraged thinking, oh, I'm just going to just follow along and you can get a lot of them you know there's so many youtube videos out there now i mean there's so much different instruction that you can practice with but you still have to practice okay so now i got a lot of the you know some of these little details going here it might be a little bit more a little bumpy stuff in here and i'll try to bring it up to the camera but there's other areas that are um need a little bit more brighter highlight and I'll do that with paint but you kind of see a little study you know it's just a little you know study of a peacock face and there's a gazillion pictures these are just for practice go find you something uh, on online let me sharpen my dark blue go find you just pictures to practice with and uh, you know, keep you a sketchbook, a scroll, or whatever, whatever you want to work with, work in, or whatever. Let me see, that's too purple. I don't want too purple. I think I need a midnight blue rather than this blue. Let me bring my, let's see. Oh, it's too purple, too violet. That's not dark enough. I might have already pulled that blue. Let's see. And, um, it's black. I think I've already pulled it into my main tray here. Hang on. I try to keep it separate too because I do confuse the black with the dark blue. And then when you want to use, when you go to pick up, that's violet. When you go in indigo, that's a color I'm looking for. Indigo and the black look so much alike when you just pick up the pencil that uh, <laughs> I've done that before. I put a layer of indigo and then I go with white to blend and it's all blue. I went, oh no, I, I just shaded that whole thing that I thought I was shading with black. <laughs> I shaded with indigo. That's true. No substitute for practice. All right, so I want to just get a little, just a small brush. I gotta reach over here to my water. And I just want to, and I'm just using the paint that I've left over. It's starting to get a little dry. I don't add water to my paints unless they start drying out. Then sometimes you have to because 
you know, they're dried out or they're, they got to scan over them from sitting out for a couple hours. But I want to get a couple of nice, bright highlights here and there. Then we'll move on to another section. Hang on. Hey, I'm still streaming. Can I call you right back a little bit? Okay. Okay, thanks, honey. Did you, oh, how much was that one? Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay. So, I'm just gonna get a few little bright areas. And I've got four, five different peacocks here that I'm working from. Five different pictures that I'm working from. Maybe six with the feathers. So. I kind of want to scruffy that up a little. And I hope I'm not missing any questions or anything. It's a little, sometimes a little tough to follow chat when you're getting into something here, but I do my best. Okay, I think I'll stop on that. But to, just to know that these feathers come out of here. and go into these right here. So let me go over here. And these have these tiny little hairs. All right, let me go back with the pencil here. And this is just the indigo, but these kind of flare out like that. And then, where's that? Oh, where my pen? All my colors. Oh, here. Let me over here. So I'll get scrolled in. They're real soft on the edges. But you can see I can go over the paint. And I showed that down on another place in the scroll. Where, and I'll do it again right here, just because it's a good uh, example to show. Let me roll it up to right here. When you have a solid black, or maybe that's blue. Yeah, it's indigo blue. I just want to show you the darkness. Okay, so there's a, that, that's a, a nice dark bit of uh, indigo blue, or, or black, whichever you want to, you know, do a test. That, there's just a little dab of acrylic paint. All right, now I gotta hit that with a heat gun to get it dry because you can't, don't try to go over wet acrylic paint with color pencils, okay? Um, thanks, thanks fairy treasure. All right, so I'm gonna dry that little bit of acrylic. All right, just to, you know, to show you, now let me sharpen my white pencil again. And always, you know, you've got to sharpen a lot too. And that's, and it is frustrating when you get pencils that have been dropped or just not centered well, and they don't sharpen well. I, I'll say it again, and I, I, and this is a good example. And I think it was, and I can't remember her first name. And her, she has LaCree, I think maybe one of y'all know. I think it was her. Her, it's LaCree Studios or something like that. But I can't remember her first name. And she does all kinds of random different art, um, you know, different mediums as well. And I just can't think of her first name. If one of y'all remembered, let me know. But I believe it was her that I heard this from, that when you buy your pencils individually, Prismacolors individually, make sure the, the lead, it's not lead, but I'm just, you know, for the sake of, 
you know, meaning the pigment inside. Make sure it's centered because if it's not centered, when you sharpen it, it will not, it'll keep breaking. And this is an example. This one is not centered well. Let's see if I can get it. I don't know. You're not going to be able to see. Um, but it's not centered. And when it's not centered, when you go to sharpen it, it they break real easy. Okay? So. Okay. So back to the little example here. So here's where I put some dark blue down, and here's some, you know, black acrylic paint. This is just to show you how when you go over something, the difference in brightness, okay? So I'm going to push real hard with the pencil. All right, so I'm pushing real hard and see how bright it is here and not there. Now watch when I go over the black acrylic paint. It's just as bright right over that because the white or a light color does not show up going over a dark pencil like it will show up going over a dark acrylic, okay? So that's why you see a lot of, you know, when I do underpaintings like this with acrylic paint, I can go over that real easy with color pencil. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, clarify that to say when I do portraits, uh, people portraits, I don't put acrylic paint on the skin. All the skin and blending that you see in my portraits is all done with color pencil. The hair or an accessory or the clothing, or if I'm doing some animal fur, I'll use acrylic paint for that. But when I'm doing people portraits, their flesh, their skin, their eyes, their ears, you know, their face, it's all color pencil blending, lots and lots of layers of blending. Uh, I, I, I still love them. I mean, I love the waxiness of them. There's just for me, Susan, I've tried, now I haven't tried those real expensive ones, Lear, uh, what was an um, Luminex something, I don't know. They're real expensive, I've never even seen them. I guess you could maybe order them at Blick, I don't even know if, I, if you could get them at Blick. But they're real expensive color pencils, I have not tried those yet. But other than those, the other ones that I've tried, the, I mean the other, um, the Derwent and the... What's the other one called? The uh, polychrome. They're okay. I don't mind them, but they're just not as waxy. I love the waxiness of the Prismacolor. I just wish they would have better quality control, you know? So I'll still be purchasing these until, and unless I love those real expensive ones, if I ever get a chance to buy a few to test them out and see if I like them. But um, anyway, I just love my Prismacolor. Okay, so let me go back in here with the indigo, and I'm going to flick up some little, the kind of, you know, just a little light feathery, feathers here. Like that. And I, I'm, I don't know if I should zoom in, because I'm all over the place. I don't know, maybe I'll try to lift this up a little bit. And then uh, a few little lighter spots here and there. Little highlights. That's kind of what the, these feathers are kind of like what, a little bit more triangly uh, that are on top of his head. You know, the little plume like that. They kind of look like that. Okay, so I'm going to come over here real quick and we'll just like, let's finish these up here. And they're the these part of the feathers are white with like a tan or a gray shadow or edge to them. Not quite that gray. A little bit more French gray here. Okay. 
And again, they have little, tiny little feather hairs, if you will, coming out of them. All right, so I'm just going to go in here and triangle these out a little better. And this is not the exact blue that are in these feathers, but it's as close as I can really see them to be. And there's just a whole bunch of them, kind of all jumbled up. And they're real soft looking. And then they have, you can just kind of give them a little softness on the edges there. each one. They're real soft looking. And there's a few little a few little uh, longer dark blue. I want to call them hairs because it's not a feather. It's the little individual little feathers. Something like that. Okay. All right, so let me come down and sharpen my pencil again. I'll try to bring them up close in, in different stages. Look here. Let's see here. Let me work on his little, his little face here. This is where now you see you can tighten up any areas that were just kind of base coated down. And you can start um, tightening them up. Put in a little bit more. Oops, broke that. Just try to draw something, you know, if you want, if you love to draw, try to draw something every day. Keep your sketchbook and all that handy. And try to draw every day. This needs to be a little less. Anyway, like I said, guys, I mean, I just show you how I do it and, you know, hopefully you can get some inspiration and some ideas. But, you know, it's not like I'm the only person that draws. You know, there's a gazillion, millions of people out there that draw that you can get different techniques, different. I mean, I have my art heroes that I, I watch all the time. And it's like, you know, I just keep learning, always keep learning. So with this, this light color on top of the uh, dark blue paint, 
I'm able to kind of get in there and get a few almost faux iridescent look, you know. See how that kind of gives it a going over this dark with a little bit of a turquoisey color. See, it kind of gives it a little shimmer. And then, of course, you can always, let me uh, sharpen a couple more pencils. Where's my sharpener? Let me go. Here's... And just a little bit of lighter areas. And if it gets too white, I'll just go back over it with the blue. But just makes it look a little brighter in areas. Areas. And if you want it to look like really like little bumpy stuff like that. You know, you can get real right in there with it. And then just go back over it with another color. But the white will give you a um, a brightness, especially if you're on top of a craft color paper. You have to have that white under there to go on, you know, to go over if you want it to look uh, true color. Otherwise, you'll lose, you just don't get that brightness. Okay, same thing for down in here. I'm going to go back over some of that bright, bright white with the turquoise color over the white. And it tones the white down, but it still looks like a highlight. See, but it's not white, white. Oh, thanks, Ray. Thanks for saying I'm fun. I don't know. Sometimes I tell Jean, Jean's not here, right? I don't think Jean's here. I tell her, so I get my teacher. I'm not a teacher, but I get, you know, you get that teacher voice when you're trying to explain something and you want people to understand what you're doing and you try to explain it and it sounds like you get a teacher voice. <laughs> uh, uh. So let me get a little bit of white in there for uh, that contrast, and then I'll go in there with uh, the blue over the white. And again, the reason I can get a nice bright white is because of the acrylic paint. You're not gonna you're not gonna get that bright white pencil over pencil. It's because I'm going on top of acrylic that I can get that. Okay. So a little bit more white on that edge and I'll go back over it with the blue so it doesn't look pure white. Kind of like that so it looks kind of like those feathers. Those little tiny feathers. So hopefully you know, I've got a little bit of the face there. And I, again, I want to do this one over here. I won't do it right now because I've just done two. But this one over there, looking straight at you, I want to do the same thing that I've done to these two to that one. But I'm going to move on to another area, uh, another part of the, oh, thanks, guys, another, like the feathers. So let's go over here to some feathers. Let me get a go to a different picture here and try to do a few of these feathers. All right, so now let me I'll start with the middle. Let me sharpen up my little indigo blue here. <laughs> I need to get in, I need to put that one on my list. All right. So I'm going to first go in here and sharpen up. Hopefully you'll be able to see sharpen up some of those cuz I just base coated them in. But I can also, let's see, let me go ahead and do this first before I, I'm going to go ahead and put that bright blue little center in there on top of the acrylic paint first before I go in there with the dark blue pencil so I don't lose that acrylic paint base. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, now I'm going to go in the I don't I won't take too long, but at the same time, 
I want them to look correct, fairly correct. And get that dark blue peat part of the middle of those feathers. Which is probably very hard to see. Sorry. <laughs> I probably need to do this big one over here so you can really see. I'll do that next. And we'll work on some of these. Okay. So I'm going to try to kind of get this done another 30 minutes or so. All right. Now I'm going to go back with uh, the turquoise color again. And uh, they kind of outline. Oh, let's see if I can get one. Let me do this one, then I'll go to the big one, because you're not going to be able to see these, this detail here, I don't think. And they kind of look like this little eye thing, you know. And again, it needs a little bit more lightness, so I'm going to go around here. Give it a little shimmer. Highlight on the top there. You know, at least get them base coated in there. Okay, now, oh, thanks. Top courage. Thanks, Linda. That's so sweet. I'm so glad. Because, yeah, I mean, you know, you got to, don't be afraid of the paper. Don't be afraid of the paper. All right, now, I think you can see this over here a little bit. I just want to kind of sharpen it up, add some kind of make it look a little iridescent there. And again, just sharpen it up. Okay. So that's this is what I've done so far on the inside of this one. Now we're going to go into the next ring around it. Okay. So the next color that's kind of around it is the tan color and the sienna. So I'm going to get the sienna and kind of, uh, let's see, what color was this? Ginger root. So let me sharpen up my ginger root. 
And I'd at least like to have a few feathers done here before, you know, we end. Thanks, guys. Well, I'm not saying you'll learn anything, but, you know, teachers have special abilities of doing teaching you how to build principle upon principle and I don't really do that I'm just like kind of all over the place <laughs> so, when I realize that okay oh I need the dark brown too mm -hmm. so it's a dark brown that's my blue it's a dark here we go so it, it kind of has a dark brown right under this blue Okay, but then it goes right into an indigo, I mean, a um, sienna, kind of, just a little bit of point. I might have made these not quite round enough. I guess it just depends on which peacock you're looking at. But it's it's got a, uh, I want to start kind of starting to feather this out just a little like this, even though it's going to have lime around it, lime green. But then it's got a more of a definitive kind of top to the egg, so to speak, right there. And then it's also got a lighter kind of tan color right in there. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a, maybe that's just the shimmer that causes that. Oh, i got to sharpen my ginger root again. Good, good. Okay, let's see. So it, it kind of almost has like a little U under the blue and then just a tiny bit of dark there and right under there and then the rest is all right where my sienna go and it's got like the sienna shit kind of shadow and then it's got like a tan in the there I hope that kind of shows up but that kind of makes it kind of leave a little bit of the dark like just right down there at the bottom I'm just looking at the pic picture there and then this will give it the shimmer right there can you kind of see hopefully and now the next one then we got the next the green layers going around it all right so let me go ahead and do these browns on each one of these it's kind of got a dark brown right underneath the blue Just a tad. Just a little bit of a shadow. Oops, I didn't get this one with the blue. Hang on, guys. I missed this one down here. Miss drawing that one in. Okay, now go back to the brown. Okay, right underneath. And then just the tiniest bit at the top. Let me just kind of arch each one of these. And I'm able to go over any of this as paint. So I'm able to go over pretty much any of it. So it didn't have to be exact when I was just base coating those in. Okay, I'm just going to try to get a little bit of a shadow, just the tiniest bit at the top of each one of those. Then I'm going to go in with the sienna and go underneath. So I'm able to go right over that lime green. Because the pencil will go over acrylic paint. So now I'm able to shadow those in. Linda, you're going to need to do a peacock, and we're going to have to find a name for it. <laughs> Linda did her Pedro's, <laughs> and she sold all those. She sold all of her. I think she had two or three of them, didn't you, Linda? So I'm just kind of going under. Blend that down, and now I'm going to kind of shape these eggs out a little better. To 
shape them out. And I'm not making any of them look too, ex you know, two of them look too exact of each other. I mean, I just want the, you know, the basic. Tightening it up, go sharpen the pencil again. started there. All right, now I need to go in with the tan on the top of each one that gives it that shimmer kind of look. Kind of leave it a little feathery like you know you can kind of like almost like little lines like so it kind of keeps it that feathery look even though these are pretty far away you won't, you're not going to see the same detail All right notice I'm going in the direction too the direction that the feather would go go that even if it doesn't really show, it's still a good idea to be in the habit of going in the direction. Okay, so there we go. There's a little bit of a shimmer. All right, now I'm going to concentrate. Now again, the, the lime green is so iridescent, I may have to go back in with a little bit more paint. We'll, we'll see here. I'm going to try to go see how much I can get with my lime green here. That's the next uh, layer. The next layer around the brown is the lime green. It's working okay. Oh, let me do this one first, the big one. Okay. Hang on, I'm going to sharpen again. Go around. And then a little bit, it seems that just a tiniest bit of blue comes out from that feather part right there. It's just like a little bit of streak of blue almost comes out. I can't really see real close, but it looks like just a little bit of that blue kind of comes down. Right, here's my sharpen this up just a bit more. See my scroll stopped. Hang on, guys. Hey, Jean. Just saw you. My scroll stopped moving. Okay, I think I got everybody back there. Okay, so then let's go back with the lime green again. So I got the lime green, but there's almost like, I won't say it's like a border, but it's almost just a touch of a feather edge right along the outside here too. So I'm just going to kind of lightly put a little brown down there. Okay, just a bit. And again, this is all going to have feathers like feathery coming out. If I have to go in there with some lime green paint first and then with the liner brush and then some white on top, then I'll do that. Okay, so let me see.
So this is when you can start getting in there and finessing. See a little bit of shading. I hope y'all can see that. Maybe that's not quite as pointy there. And then it might have just a little shimmer, a little shimmer of blue in there, like that. Just a little shimmer. So let me get this one done. At least we'll have a kind of, we can kind of see a close up maybe of this one. Then I'll work on these individual ones because this is what they'll all look like eventually. All right, now I need my, uh, what green is this? Apple green, I think. And the next shade of green around the lime green is a little bit of this apple green. working kind of at an angle here. I should bring it up under my face, but anyway. the apple green. All right, let me go to another close-up of a feather again, going back and forth. All right, so let me get a little bit of more green in there. And I think what I'll do is I'll go in there with a couple, sh uh, some liner. Let's see what we do with that. Okay, so now I'm going to take a dark brown and just do a few like where you can kind of see the feathers in the brown. You're going to have to kind of transition, although the brown seems to be working okay to get some of these. So you can kind of see where the feathers come out like that, or where the Alright, let me get a little tiny bit of, what is this, is this, oh, I don't want violet blue, don't want violet blue at all. Okay, I'll look at that in a minute, Linda, thanks. Okay, I want this to have a little bit of feathering out. Now, this detail that I'm putting in this one, it won't need to be as much in here, because you won't see this detail. The feathers aren't going to be that close up. All right, but like that, just a few feathers. Now let me go ahead and get my liner brush. Oh, let's see where I put it. It's over here. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to get my liner brush, and we're going to do uh, a few different shades of uh, lime green. Let's see. Let me get my. Let me mix it up here first with another brush. All right, I'm going to get some uh, white here and light, and I want to add some white to the lime green to, like, make it not so translucent. Okay, now I get my, I'm going to get a blob of it on my hand. This is just the easiest way for me to, let me get a big blob of it. And then I can kind of feather it out and get it nice and pointy, my liner brush. All right, so let's see what we can do here with this. All right, so the feathers come around. They come around. And you probably won't be able to see much till I hold it up. But I'm trying to come out of the lime green part. The part that's the lime green around the edge. I'm kind of coming out of that. Too much right there. Hope y'all can see. I know the scroll's kind of... Okay, so I'm going to just get a few... And these will be the iridescent, like, lighter ones on top of that underpainted green. So the green underneath will show through. I need a little bit more water. A little bit more paint. These are coming out from the lime color. Okay. 
Okay, and then we can start to swirl them up into the shape or water. Hope y'all can see some of this. Oh my gosh. Is it even showing up on camera? I don't know. They kind of cross over. You can do that with the white too. We'll have a few highlighted ones. But you want to try to get as many as you can. And I just keep reaching over back over here. And you can get some more, you can put in a little bit more blue, a little bit more turquoise. Hopefully it's showing up. Oh my goodness. Sorry guys. Mm, I don't know if you can see. Okay, let me stop right there for a minute. Alright. What I want to do now is just pick out a few, maybe a little bit of a few. Um my dark green. Okay. Did I not get out of dark green? I thought I got out of dark green. It's my apple green. I thought I got out of dark green. Mm. be my tray. Oh. That won't work. That's a nice dark olive. All right. Oh, scroll stopped again. Hang on, guys. Thanks, Eileen. My scroll froze again. Okay, Linda, peacock painting. Okay, I'll look at it in a minute. Thanks, guys. I hope you are all enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, for the past, like, ten minutes, I guess, my scroll froze. So I think I'm caught up again. All right. But then you can go back in with some of the, a few shadowed areas and just kind of bring out a little bit more of the shape. Because, you know, you want to still keep that kind of roundness. So I'm just going to go back in there with a little bit of pencil. I'll probably need a little bit more turquoise in there. You know, that iridescent turquoise color that kind of shimmers. Even though the bulk of it is in here, we could probably use a few more. A little bit more turquoise but I want to kind of get that dark green that's around the lime green too so anyway I'm gonna try a couple different ways to get that same effect now, you know what I mean, Vern? okay but I do want a couple more a little bit a few Just a few of those little kind of crossover feathers in the brown. And then always can go in with just a little bit of, let me just get a little bit of white. Oops, kind of splattered there. Maybe we could put a few splatters. <laughs> I wanted to get a few of these nice, flowy, highlighted ones. I'll hold it up here in a second, guys. And I could get some of this, too, with pencil. But I want to go over the paint here with a few flowy ones. wispy ones like 
And then I'll go back in here with some pencil. And again, you would take more time than I'm trying to kind of rush through. But, let me get some, where's my sharpener? Here we go. All right, let me get a few, uh, little wispy ones here. And when you do a whole bunch of these little wispy things behind these, that's going to fill it in. Because I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to paint the background white to get that back background. Because that you see through these. They're like all along these edges. It's not like solid here. You see through it to the background. But I'm thinking that if I do this wispy with the white like this, on each one of these, they'll kind of like intersect and cross over, and you'll see, um, you'll see that that effect. Hopefully, we'll see. But uh, okay, so there's a little bit of a feather flowiness. Again, I, I need to kind of maybe color in a little bit right there. Give it a little bit more flowy glow. A flowy glow. <laughs> right in there. And then, of course, you know, when you cross over the feathers like that and bring out a few strays, same thing when you do hair, it makes it look more real. I don't want this to get too much like a leaf. Although, you know what this gives me the idea is to do a garden of these. Instead of like having leaves growing up out of the ground, you have uh, feather, these peacock feathers. So let me make a note of that. A peacock feather garden. But I think they need a, bit, a little bit more darkness around there. Like, uh, let me make sure that's dry. And I can go in with a little bit. Where's my dark green? Did I lose my dark green already? Here we go. You know, right in here. Just a little bit. roundness because they're a little bit more round up here I think I might have got a little bit too pointy eh, it's okay I mean there's stray ones that poke out like that but I think it's just a little bit more would make me a little happier if it was just a little bit more rounded like that okay oh did I lose chat again all right, so there's just like a, a random one. <laughs> All right, so let's go back over here to this area. Okay, so each one of these, each one of these has kind of a gray, green, tan kind of color. There's my sharpener. What time is it? Okay, I'm going to be here. I'm about five more minutes, and that's all I'm going to really have time for, guys. Because, well, maybe, maybe ten minutes. Okay. All right, so each one of these looks kind of like, well, here, let's go over here to this one. They have the detail is like kind of sharp. It's almost like little mini fans. All right? They kind of overlap when they're little and... When they're little and close to the body down here, they kind of do this kind of shape where they overlap. Okay. But as they go up on the feather on his body, they stop overlapping and start stacking. 
and start stacking like this. Like, you know, almost just perfect stacks like that. And then they have a little bit of sienna-like color. Like right in the middle, they have like a little, little bit of color like that in, in each one. Kind of like that in each one of these. Okay. And then they have a nice lime green right along the edge. And that kind of fades down. Let me get that in there first. I'll sharpen again. sharp lime green but then they have another shade of green let me get that in there real quick this is what you do when you're at the zoo you do quick stuff real fast you try to just get the details down okay so then with kind of a, almost like a gray green you see like shadow, a little bit of shadow in here, but you also see just a few little flicks of green, just a little bit. So let me kind of shade some of that in there. Kind of shadowed right in the where they set into the one behind it. But they still have a few little flicks of green coming out. So that you can kind of, it gives it kind of a fan shape. I don't know how much, I'll hold it up here in just a minute, guys. Get all this shade it in a little bit. I'm going with a few more little darker areas. Okay, let me go back in with a little bit more of that. Sienna in there. And with the and of course I am hurrying, but trying to at least make the Get the essence of peacock feathers. <laughs> These are the back feathers or whatever they're called on the body. All right, so you can kind of see they look kind of like that. Okay, sort of like that, a little bit more defined. Maybe a little bit more defined, but they also, they kind of, they have a little bit of, almost like they blend into each other right at the tips where well, it's like a little bit of brightness to them. All right, so anyway, that will go on all this. Hey, Colleen, you're welcome. So in other words, every one of these will, will have that. And they start real tiny down here by his, oh, I can't see. They start real tiny down here by the body. And they kind of look like they overlap down here because they're real tight, little little tight feathers down in there. But as they get closer out, they start stacking on top of each other. And 
I'm going to start doing this. And I'm, I'm doing it subtly at first because I don't, you know, I want to make sure I get them in the right shapes there. But there'll be lots of shading, but I want you to be able to see at least an idea here. Let me get a couple rows done. That and with the sienna little some kind of a brown. I don't know if it's exactly sienna, but that's kind of what I see in the pictures. But they kind of stack up like this. So you can kind of see that row there. See how they're kind of going that way? But they'll have more definition, not black, but let me see a dark brown. And I'll spend a little bit more time on them before I post pictures, but there's a little bit more, a little bit more areas of definition. And you can kind of see little feathery things coming out. Let me do this row right here. And they, they kind of kind of like that. <laughs> I don't know how much you really learned. I mean, we talked about peacocks, so at least makes everybody want to at least check it out. You know, check out what what their you know their habits are and their habitats and all that. But they're kind of like this. And again, I'm, you know, I wasn't real careful about getting them exactly like they probably should be, but this is the idea that this is kind of how they're stacked. Like that. It's just little studies. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, I didn't get it to any of these feathers, but that's kind of what, let me do maybe one or two before we go. Um, where's my lime green? Let's try to brush. Trying to get a little bit more brightness around them. Call you right back. Almost done for the day. And again, I'll work on it after a while. Maybe uh maybe I can make it to Barb's today and work on it for a while. Because Hubster did his out of town and he's already back out of, from out of town, so I don't have to make any airport things. I want to kind of clean these feathers up just a bit. One of these days I'll have to do a like a real nice painting of a feather, of a peacock feather. But this is just some sketches and some studies and just to show you that you can just Practice and play on your big, big uh, shipping paper scroll roll. <laughs> so I lean in the corner again. Oh, good grief! She lives over there. He'll know that. I'm going to have lime paint tray. All right, let's see here. Let's go 
kind of drying up too. Get a little dab of water. A little dark, dark green here. Try to define a little bit around. drying up. And I'll put this paint a little bit dark on here with the green and I can go over it with lime green pencil to make all the feathery things. It just it, it it does take some time though you know but sometimes like I said sometimes I feel like I'm kind of having to rush but I want to try to base coat this in a little better because that's what I'm going to go over the top of this will be like the background of the feathers so let me just kind of block them in a little bit more this will be the background of the feathers. Uh, oh, and I didn't even do the, so, some of the actual stems of the feathers are kind of white. Let me just finesse a few here. Essence of Peacock. <laughs> My paint is almost completely dry after these two hours. Well, actually longer than that. That's my mom texting me. Is she watching? No, she's showing me some homemade peach cobbler or something. Peach ice, oh, homemade peach ice cream. I'm working here, Mom, and you're showing me homemade peach ice cream on text message. <laughs> I'm determined to get at least one more of these little feathers done. Come on, I got enough. I think I can stretch this paint out enough. Okay, let me uh, hit this. Let me hit this with a heat gun real quick. And so, if I can draw a couple of featherish things on here. I need some more blue in the tops of the feathers, really. Let's see what I can do with the pencil. So maybe with just a little bit of more blue in the feathers, you know, like right in the, that's a different blue, that's not going to show up. That's not going to show up either. Let's see. little bit of blue under I could have just got off the paint I guess but get a little bl more blue in the feathers there. Alright 
And then a little bit of white in the stems. Okay. And the whatever. They really do really have nice bright white. Oh, they're kind of coming out of the Yes, Mom, I know you have wonderful hand homemade peach ice cream. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's that, and now, now, <laughs> let's see, here. let me get some green, let me sharpen my green, now see, now I'm at the point where I'm trying to hurry, not because of mom's ice cream, but just to have this, okay, I think I'm going to need the, I'm going to need a couple shades of green, okay, so basically, what I want to, oh, hang on, it broke, basically what I want to do is get the background, um, the fly, flowy feathers. Oh my gosh, really? Come on, Prismacolor. I love you, but... Alright, so I want to get some of the green flowy ones first. You probably won't even be able to see that. I'll do a couple shades of green. Let's go ahead and get this one first. I'm determined to have hang on I'm sharpening again. I must have really got one that's off center or has been dropped. I know it does, doesn't it? Okay, so I don't want to hurry, but I'm having to. You know what I mean, Vern? Because when I get these in, they all start, it fills in. That's going to take a couple of coats of different colors. So let me see if I can rush it. I'm sorry, guys. I do, want to, I do want it to look good, but at the same time, I'm running out of time. So I'm just overlapping all the little flowy things. I'm just kind of block, actually just kind of sketching in where I'm going to want them to go with this particular grass green. Because I'm going to do a couple other shades of green. I'm going to do a dark green and a lime green. Because I really want it to have some depth in that background. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Am I going to be able to finish this with a broken pencil? <sighs> Okay, now there we go. That, that shows me where I want to go. Now let me get the dark green and start being a little more fussy. So I want a couple shades of green. This is more of a gray green kind of. Because I, I want to get in there with my liner brush. The liner brush with the uh, white and lime. But I don't think I'm going to have time, so let me just get this much in. Get these flowy feathers here. Get a couple layers going this way with a few flowy. I don't know what better to, to better way to say than flowy feathers. Hopefully you can kind of see them starting to flow. But I'm going to do lots and lots of layers of these. So that, you know, you, you still see a little bit of the background, but it's going to be a lot of featherage. I don't know. It's trying to hurry. But I'm just kind of crossing over some of those other ones. I'm trying to just bring out the shape. Is it showing up? Again. Yeah, it is the final details that make it, but sadly, those details are like three hours into the show, you know? 
So my other option, which people don't like to do, for me to do that, is to start with a um, half finished drawing with the de you know, and then just do the details. Um, oh, good grief, I got some stuck in my pencil. Uh, um, so it's either one or the other. You know, I can either start with nothing and work up to this point, or I can start with it halfway done and then you see the details. And, you know, I try to do a little both, but, um, you know, with four or five hours of streaming, either way, doing it starting or finishing, it's just, you know, not enough time to really get it all, you know? Yeah, I can't, no, I can't do that, Carrie, you know? I mean, I try, some days I can stream for six or eight hours, but that's rare. So it's going to, it has to be one or the other, the beginning or the ending usually. And it, I mean, I've already streamed since, you know, this is my second part and I'm an hour and a half into this one. So yeah, oh my gosh, these pencils, seriously. No, it's either one or the other. But once this is all filled in, I mean, look how it's coming along. See how it's filling in? Now I think I want to do, I'm, I'm tired of the pencils because they're frustrating me. So I'm going to go in with a little paint. <laughs> Let me get a little bit more out though. It's all dried up. Let's see. I think I'll go in here with a little bit of more teal. And then I'll go in with a little bit of white pencil on top and then we'll be done. streams. I've done a few, you know, marathons. I think, you know, I've done a couple of eight, ten hours, you know, in, in parts, you know, I've done a few of those, but, uh, you know, I have to have a good energy day for that, you know, to really. All right, so what I'm going to do now is because I'm frustrated with the pencil breaking, I'm going to just go ahead and paint in some of these uh, wisps. Then I'll go back in with the lime over the top because, uh, yeah, I'm getting frustrated with the breaking of the pencils. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint in a little bit. The reason I wanted to do a lot with pencil, you know, little flip by flip, is because that leaves, uh, that leaves the background showing, which is what I wanted to do. I wanted to leave the background showing, but it... Yeah, the pencils are fighting me today. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint them in. Quickly, hopefully. Essence of peacock feathers. <laughs> and I really wanna shade that lime color a little more See, I, I get carried away and I want to make just make them sketches, but then when I'm talking to you guys and explaining things, and I want to keep going because I don't want to leave something uncovered, you know, untalked about. Whoops. You know? So... Yeah, it is a lot of work. You know, other streamers know <laughs> when you do long shows how much work it is. You know, Carrie and, you know, Jean, anybody else that streams. It, it is a lot of work and it's a lot of energy, you know, and trying to keep up with chat and, you know, work at the same time. 
Oh, well, I, I know y'all appreciate it. I'm not saying y'all don't. I'm just saying that sometimes it's you don't have the energy, you know? All right, I'm getting there, though. <laughs> But there's just some things that you can't, you just can't rush, you know, you can't rush some of it, even though you try, you know, it's just not what you can really do, but maybe I just should have stuck with the paint more at the beginning so that I didn't have so much pencil work because the pencil work, you know, when I do a portrait or, I mean, even when you've seen me do one in six hours, that's rushing. But now I got my determination, you know, got determination to get it done. So I'm going to go in there with some more pencil on top, but it might just be liner. Scrolling chat. We're getting there, guys. <laughs> oh, we're getting there. Because yeah. I kind of wanted to show you how it looks when there's still background showing. You know? All right, let me hit this with the heat gun real quick because I'm scrolling up into wet paint. You know, this is not done. This is going to have some shadow in here with all that detail in there. Peacocks are a lot of detail. Every feather, you know? The feathers, the head, the top feathers, the bottom feathers. I didn't even get to the feet. Oh my gosh, I didn't draw a foot. We're trying to do a peacock study and didn't even get a foot in there. <laughs> Thank God. Didn't even get a foot in there. All right, let's see what I can do now real quick. Let's see if, um, let me get a different, let me see this color. No, that's not, I'm going to have to have a bright lime. Or maybe I'm just going with the Derwent. Let's see. That's not bright enough. I don't know if I have a bright enough Derwent color. Let's see what this color will do. Okay, we're going with this color. We're going with, uh, what is it? Light, it's just called light green, although it looks like mint. We're going to use a mint green to finish this up, okay? So what I'm basically trying to do is first move the heat gun. What I'm going to try to do basically is where the lime is, and I'll bring it up to the camera close, where the lime is, is kind of, um, that's where I'm going to start flicking in and I'm just going to use this mint green. It's probably not the true color that it should be, but I'm going to go for it. Let's zoom in one. Let's focus. Where's my card? We're in the home stretch. <laughs> We're in the home stretch. At least I don't have a fly. I know, i got to breathe. Right? I didn't see my, I didn't get my second cup of coffee. You know, it, it's brewing down there. That coffee is brewing and it's calling my name. All right, so I'm going to slow down. We're going to slow down here. Let me sharpen again. Uh-oh, i got to sharpen. <laughs> We're going to just go with this nice, pretty mint green. 
it's actually it's called light green i don't know what color it's showing up on camera but how's that look <laughs> we're taking back the peacock feathers people we're taking them back it's not going to defeat us <laughs> Uh, we won't be defeated by some peacock feathers. <laughs> no, sir, re Bob. <laughs> We're not going to be defeated by the peacock feathers. Okay, I got to sharpen again. The pencils, they wear down quick. They do, they wear down quick. So if you're watching this recording, everybody is telling me to breathe. And I'm just trying to finish. And, uh, yeah, not be defeated by a peacock feather. <laughs> I know, this is what happens when you rush. Seriously, don't rush, people. Don't rush your peacock feathers. <laughs> I need to put that in the, I need to put that in the wing, wing nut book. Don't rush your feathers. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Don't rush your feathers. I'll sharpen. Yeah, don't ruffle my feathers either. Right, Carrie? <laughs> no, it's all good, guys. You just get a little frustrated every now and then, when you're in, especially when you're in a hurry, you know. Put a few little white highlights in there. I shouldn't have done so many. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should have done. No, really, I should have planned. I should have timed it better. That's what I should have done.
you notice I'm not looking at chat. <laughs> I'm not looking at chat. I am determined now. I am determined. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm determined to get a few of these feathers in here. Oh, broke the pencil. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> guys hopefully we got a little bit of something here done well, we didn't finish this one over here but all right let me back her up Scoot this over so you can kind of see. There we go. Oh, that was a challenge. That was a challenge to get that in. And this is now, remember, this is just a study. That's not even the full, big, fluffy back part of the. I stopped it right there. <laughs> But anyway, and we didn't, uh, you know what, I should, wait, how long, what time is it? Do I have time real quick? What time? Do I have time? Do I have time? Let me look real quick. Hang on. One more thing. I, I can't not do this. I cannot do, not do this. Okay, I have to put a spot down here. Well, let me show you real quick here. There's our peacock. There's our other peacock. Well, that's what I was just going to say, Erica. We have to draw a foot. We have to draw. I have to at least sketch in. I have to at least sketch in his feet. <laughs> I won't have time to paint them. But we are sketching some peacock feet, people. Because I'm not going to have these defeat me. <laughs> I won't have a peacock defeat me. <laughs> okay, I want to laugh out of that one. <laughs> we can't have it defeat me. Yes, you can laugh. That is funny. <laughs> Alrighty, we can't have the peacock defeat me. Okay, I'm going to sharpen my pencil again, for goodness sake.
All right. This is how fast you have to sketch when you're sketching at the zoo. <laughs> you gotta sketch fast when you're at, you know, or any kind of live, you know, when you don't have a lot of, you gotta do quick. There. Peacock foot. Thumbs up. <laughs> oh, well, anyway, guys, I appreciate y'all being here. And thanks, and you know, it, it, I did get a, there was a moment. I did have a moment. There was a moment where I thought it would defeat me, but it didn't. It did not defeat me. <laughs> this is a little hook on their leg, like chicken has, or you know, a little. There's a name for them. There's a name for that. Anyway, guys. So I guess we will see you at Barb's shortly. And there's a little bit of shading like his little, he's got like little uh, bamboo legs almost. Bamboo type looking legs. Okay guys, thanks for being here. Oh. I was not defeated. <laughs> anyway, guys, so thanks. <laughs> I'll take some pictures after a while when I get a cup of coffee. A spur. Yes, okay. That's a spur. The peacock did not defeat me. <laughs> okay guys, I'm beat. I gotta get me some coffee. So you're welcome. We'll see y'all at Barb's. Bye, guys.